Hi there, Ligrig Sarnold, artist at Autodesk. Just want to come out to create this high contrast graphic style using the Toon Shader in combination with the stylized highlight. And we'll cover these various looks as well. Okay, so I've got the scene here. It's card geometry sitting on a floor plane and it's being lit with an area light. So if we set off a render in the Arnold viewport and under the camera environment, just make sure the background color is set to white. So I'm going to start off by signing a new shadow material to the floor plane. Okay, so you notice we're getting a soft shadow on the floor, which is not what we want, we want a nice harsh, crisp graphic shadow on the floor. So what I'm going to do is turn off cast shadows for the area lights. I'm going to use a directional light to create the crisp shadow on the floor. So I'm just going to scale up so you can see it and then just rotate it so it's pointing downwards. You can start to see it here. If we increase the exposure, it should be a lot more obvious where the shadow is. It doesn't matter that it's affecting the brightness of the card because we're going to use the uh, area light with the stylized specular highlight for that. Okay, so I'm going to select the card geometry and sign the new material, make that a tune shader. Okay, every disable base, because we just want the specular. Uh, increase the specular weight to one, gives us this. Uh, we don't want indirect specular, so under advanced, just make sure indirect specular is zero. Uh, could choose the specular color of it to match the background there. Okay, so that's pretty much there. We could, if we wanted a different look, we'd always change the edge color to white. Okay, so we can add a stylized highlight as well. So I'm going to copy the shape name of the directional light and paste it into the stylized highlight name. I can uh, lower the color a bit, get it darker. I can change the stylized height size, like so. Get a different look. I can also connect uh, a map or a, a ramp to the stylized highlight color. color. So we can control it that way as well. Yeah, different ramp types to get different uh, looks. Also got some presets here. So if you wanted to uh, try some colors, you could do so, get, get different graphic looks using some of the color presets here. So you can check out the ramps there and just have a play to get some different styles. Okay, so for this setup, I've added an extra area light and positioned them like so. So we now set up a uh, render in the viewport. So here we could also add some sheen, get a different look. Add some edges here, some black edges. And also, if we increase the base weight, get a white car. I've also added a ramp RGB to the tone map here. So we can adjust the darkness of the shadows here, just to fine tune the effect. Just want to delete that, we get a lot much lighter looking car, which may be what you want. Or we can put it back, get some more shading here. We could also add some emission as well, if we wanted to do it lighter. Okay, and then for this example, I'm going to enable edge to get some white colored edges here. Uh, no spec, no base, and uh, just increase the specular uh, to get something like this. And also for the floor plane, change the shadow matte color of the shadow to white. So to get more of a high con contrast graphic look there. And then in the specular tone map, I've made sure that the interpolation is set to none to get the high contrast look there so if I to disable that you can see the effect the, uh, that's having on the specular here. Okay that's it, thanks for watching and bye for now.